Okay, if you turn to page 38 in your packet, we're going to go over some vertical motion word problems. So, um, you can read through the example that I did for you, but we're going to do number one and two together. So, number one says, a cat leaps from the ground into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 11 feet per second. After how many seconds does the cat land on the ground? So this is the vertical velocity equation. Now, T stands for time in seconds that an object has been in the air. V stands for the initial vertical velocity, and that's in feet per seconds. And S is the initial height in feet. So what this means is that if you have a little bug, this is my, my little bug, and your little bug jumps into the air, right? and then it eventually hits the ground again. So its starting height was zero because it started on the ground, it leaped into the air, and then it landed on the ground. So a lot of times the initial height, the S, is zero. And a lot of times the height when it hits the ground, which is what a lot of the problems ask you for, is zero. Okay, now. The vertical velocity is how fast they jump up, how fast the speed is. Now, this S, if I'm standing here, I'm a great drawer, and I'm holding a ball and I throw the ball in the air and I want to know how long till it hits the ground, did the ball start on the ground? Not if I was holding it. So if I was holding it and it was four feet above the ground, then S would be 4. Okay? So, this problem says a cat leaps from the ground into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 11 feet per second. So I know V equals 11. Now the cat leaps from the ground, so that means the starting height was 0. And it says after how many seconds does the cat land on the ground? So the height that we're trying to find is when it lands on the ground. When it lands on the ground, it's zero in height. So zero equals negative 16 t squared plus 11 t. To solve this, I'm gonna factor out my t. And I get negative 16 t plus 11. So t either equals 0 or negative 16t plus 11 equals 0, which means 16t equals 11 and t equals 11 sixteenths of a second. Now, the final answer is 11 sixteenths of a second because if t equals 0, that means he has not jumped yet. Nothing has happened. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, number 2, we use the same equation says a spittle bug jumps into the air with an initial vertical velocity of 10 feet per second. So V is 10 feet per second. Write an equation that gives the height of the spittle bug as a function of time in seconds since it left the ground. Okay? So if it started on the ground that's zero. So this would be a function that gives the height as a function of time. But then it says if the spittle bug reaches its maximum height, its h, at 0.312 seconds, how high can it jump? So here I'm solving for h. So I'd make this negative 16 times 0.3125 squared plus 10 times 0.3125. Okay, now 
that ends up being h equals negative 1.5625 plus 3.125 and that ends up being 1.5625 feet. Okay, so we will do one more on the next page. Let's look at number six, because number six is a little different. Now, number six says a window washer drops a wet sponge from a height of 60 feet. After how many seconds does the sponge land on the ground? So I start with my vertical velocity equation. Now here, it says it starts at a height of 64. And I need to solve for t, and I want to know what t would be when the sponge hits the ground. Well, if it hits the ground, then h is zero. What's interesting here is if you drop something, are you applying any vertical velocity, or is it just gravity? And the answer is it's just gravity. So it would be zero t, which means you don't even have a term there. So when you drop something, V equals zero. So now to solve this, I would first factor out a negative 16, and I get T squared minus four. And I divide by negative 16, so zero equals T squared minus four. I factor this, T plus four, T minus four. So T either equals four or negative four, time can't be negative. So the answer, oh, see what I did there? That is not correct because the difference of squares would be t plus 2, t minus 2. So the answer would be t equals 2 seconds. Okay, and that's the end of this video.